unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please, pull me up. Please. I'm begging you. I'm sorry. I can't pull you up. We could have talked about it man to man. Would you want to run off? Nah, I gotta run you off to hell. Howdy, partner. What? Good job. Welcome back, Abe, hey, to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, the first chapter, the first time I ever played... What's up? My boy. What's up with you, my Dutch? Dear boy. See, look how much love Dutch is showing my boy. If you didn't watch the stream last night or the night before, depending on when this post, I did stream the first chapter of this, and I also streamed uh, things you need to know before playing Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 video with y'all so that we can get caught up on the story for this game in particular so we know about dutch we know about the characters we got through the tutorial and now we are in chapter two where they just allowed me to do free roam i'm gonna just play the freak out of free roam do my little free roam hey everyone howdy partner do my thing across the, the across the town i'm also play some missions i'm gonna just do my thing on the game Record for a couple hours and then it's up to PG to turn this into an episodic adventure because I noticed y'all was not really as immersed in the streams. It's fun that like we all get to talk with each other and like we get to interact. Much love to y'all who be supporting the boy in the streams. But um, I understand a game like this, we really want this to replace Bully. Bully was such a perfect storyline, gameplay, all that. Let's try and get that same experience with Red Dead. So with that being said, what's up with you, Dutch? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. It's got to feel We're good. Free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Respect, Dutch. Each day, Pearson will make stew, which you can eat from the pot at dinner time. So I gotta learn what all of the little mini map uh, icons are. Let's go see what this is. So you can shave. Let me see my beard. Bring Pearson animals to supply the Good can. Morning, you can use... Good morning to you too, sir. <laughs> you can use the meat for food and the skins to craft satchels with increased capacity. This is the shave kit. I kind of like the bearded look. Maybe not. You look dirty as. Trim that hair. Um, trim. You can select different trims. So what what I what I'm what I'm seeing is that right, PG I'm also told me there's nothing to act like I didn't know this without PG. PG told me that you can only have certain hairstyles based on the length that your hair grow. It's not like other games where like you pick a hairstyle and the nigga just poof with hair like he a chia pet, kinda like me, huh? <laughs> uh no, you gotta base it on the hair that you grow and then like you can style it based on that. Let me see what the mustache look like. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying, PG. Okay. That's disgusting. That's disgusting, her. You look like a little chimpanzee with that look. All I want is mustache. All I want is mustache. <laughs> that should look hard. I look like Matthew McConaughey. Okay. Bring. Okay, let me take a look at you. Ugh, my, my dude Arthur is in this. Looking clean. Why well, I get so angry off that? Y'all cannot tell me that Arthur is not fitted right now. Y'all was on me every bully episode talking about my nigga fit, but look at look look at Arthur Morgan's fit. He's fresh. Okay, let's get it going. I, I gotta save this outfit though. This shit too clean. This too, this shit too clean not to save. Custom fit one. Ugh, ugh, he got the fresh shave. What are my attributes looking like? I need some more dead eye, okay. More, who is that? Who is that, uh, Mrs., uh, who are you? Molly, how you doing, Molly? What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. Oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. Well, I should get back to it. Well... I'm not much company. Take care. 
Bye, Molly. Sweet Molly. What's up with you, Dutch? Mercer. How's the cigar? Not bad. But sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in mm. black water. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> Companions will sometimes ask help retrieving an item. Dutch has asked for a pipe. Find and return it to them in camp for a reward. Okay, so I, I should always check on people in the camp to see if they if they need anything. Cool. What's up with you, Hosea? Right about this place. It's a good spot. You'll do for now. For sure. Mr. Smith, how you doing, my boy? Oh, that's Lenny. Lenny. What's up with you, you Lenny? You like see anything when you rode ahead? Nothing we need to worry about. Okay, good. Lenny Smith or... What is all this red I'm seeing right here? Hold up. Wake up, old man. You gonna scare him? Ow! 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 Even Careful worse. not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, <gasps> while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> you gonna to take work. the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. They on my head. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. Damn, I meant to go check on uh, the trees here, on the Rev room first. Cause he east south. We about to go up to Valentine in the city. How you make this thing go? Here we go. All right, screw it then. Let's, let's go. Let's go to Valentine. I'm gonna check on Reverend in a minute afterwards. Lady, sing us a song. Sing us a little song. Is this? Who the f is this? Look at that coat! He's all over the place. Is one of you going to get that fella's horse? Well, I got. Very serious. We know him? Oh, hey, you could help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I got you. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Okay, this is my first time doing this with that tutorial. I'm in front of the girls, too. I got this, ladies. Just just watch out to do his thing. On, hey, easy now. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Come on, come on. Relax. No, 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 no. Don't rear at me. Don't put your feet towards me. Easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. Pet him. Pet him. Let him know That's you're friendly. Boy. That's it, boy. Yeah, there. You got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you'll see it. You'll see it, little ladies. 
Ain't nothing but uh, Ain't nothing but a little horse taming All the day's work How you doing, horse? Really wish I Let me study you for a sec See we got a name You're shy, huh? Let me see your info Here Here you Slower go Slower than my horse You're a gentleman, sir A gentleman No, not really I was just Trying to impress the women <laughs> Well, anyway Thank you you know what I'm saying? Everything men do is for the impressment of women. Doesn't matter what it is. That's the only reason um, men men try things in life. Is to get fi fine women in their in their in their midst. To Valentine. To Valentine. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. Watch him out. It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> out the way, out the way, out the way. Very funny. I'm real. This looks like a decent little town. I'm Other real people. for that. Sure don't want to be back up there. Hell no, I don't. Ask Molly to come with us. Oh no, Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us, or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. Chairs always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Let's park up there, near the stables. Yes, sir. All right. Here we are, just like I said. What's up, little... The center of civilization. <laughs> Bud. Man, it is finest. Uncle. What are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? A maniac. <laughs> In my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. That sounds weak. Okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I'm doing know my you thing. Love me. I love you desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. Hey. This is the place now. Come on. Morning, hey, man. What y'all talking about parasites for? Let me up in here. Let's, let's do work. I got two hundred four dollars. So, what do you need? <laughs> items in the shop can be purchased directly from the shelves by well, looking at the item and pushing square. While waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Do you have a, a, a pipe, sir? Let me browse the catalog. I'm looking for a pipe for my boy back here, back at the camp. Don't worry about him, though. He's Can nobody. I, anything, Arthur? I was All only supposed best, to spend a dollar in here. Goodbye, sir. Pleasure, pleasure doing business with you. Look at my fit. Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house and acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. 
train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. Oh my they gosh. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, uh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm gonna handle some business. I got my new gloves too, so they ain't gonna, be, ain't gonna get no blood on my fingers. Hold up, bro. Intervene. Don't even defuse. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Get lost. I ain't doing this with what you. What do you right want to do? Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across oh, the here. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. What was that all about? Just someone I used to know. What you doing in there, Tilly? Look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Let me see. I'm about to go see about Karen. Dude, what's up? What's up? What are you what are you hopping up for? Look like Brandon Fraser in the face. Ugly ass. Journey to the Can center of the sir? earth, head ass. That movie was fire though. You can't even hate on that. Girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather, mid twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in two B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. All right, say less. Don't worry. Don't worry about who I'm a friend of. I'm having some business upstairs. Okay, so they're gonna put on this. No trouble now, please. You don't, you don't tell me what I'm not finna do and what I'm finna do. I do. Okay, hold up. Arthur, get in there. Get in there. Kick the door down, Arthur. Big body moves. Hey, you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. What's up? What's up? Okay. Okay. Ooh, Arthur with the one-hitter quitter? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Look at her mouth. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Bruh, people was just built differently back in the day. Like, girls was just tough. She, she her okay whole mouth. There? Everything is all right, sir. Her mouth is all bruised up. Arm is choked to, choked to, After you. choked to blue, black and blue. I'm like, how you choke an arm? But you get what I'm saying. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Tough chicks. Sure. He only punched me. Oh, Arthur punched so him a lot harder. Yeah. All right then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellas. Okay. Me? Okay. No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Oh, this Be is careful, active. Arthur. Just a word. I'm taking yeah. matters into my own hands right now. Chase the, chase the man from Blackwater. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh, this ain't even my horse. This ain't even Big Doink. I gotta watch how I ride him. Boss, move, sir. Man, he got plenty stamina. He can get there. This horse got dumb stamina. Please do something. How funny how, how, how times have changed. 
Tables are turned. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I'm begging you. I'm sorry. I can't pull you up. We could have talked about the man to man. Would you want to run off? Nah, I gotta run you off to hell. What? Goodbye. Goodbye. You lost honor. Continue to perform negative actions to become more dishonorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, so it's not it's not honorable that I'm protecting my camp? Okay, but it's honorable that he finna snitch. Push y'all. It is. I'm I'm over here trying to it is, but like I had to do what I had to do. Don't give a damn about that. Yep. Yeah. I did what I had to do. He ran off. I don't know who he was finna tell. You can return the horse you stole its owner in Valentine to gain honor. Of course I'm gonna return it. I am an honorable person, but sometimes, you know, it's a, it's, it's a doggy dog world out here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What the hell did I ever do to you? I, I, I. Sir. Yep. Sir. Sir, ain't this your horse, sir? Did y'all just see that dog hop up in the back of this? Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Did that dog, is that dog? Look at this dog chilling. Okay, I need me a dog. It's, it's decided, I need me a dog. Man, let me get back to the rest of them. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Nice to meet you, Jim Boy. The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to <laughs> deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. Mm. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. I was fired. What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, mm -hmm. and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Wow. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity. Shoot them. 
I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get <laughs> up, shoot him? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Uh. A lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find I'll out. see what I, I can do. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Inspect the photographs for details of the Glensinger's locations. How's it been treating you? A photograph of Black Bell. Javier Escuela. I guess the girls went back to the camp. Is that uncle? Oh, Hosea. Okay. He needs to speak with me. All right, so I'm going to meet up with uh, uh, Javier Escuela. Is it just Javier? Oh, Javier, Bill, and Charles. All right, let's go see what they're talking about. Bar fight. Okay, we in the saloon with it, y'all? Yo, Bill, Charles, <laughs> Javier. What's good with y'all? Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I then want she you got to some friends. bazoongas on her. Nice to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. <gasps> How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Oh, she offended now. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. She called me a pussy. Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. What's up hey, with you, hey, Bill? Hey, there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch him? Oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> oh, shit. He's <laughs> bastard. Come on, we can handle these fools. Oh, leave that bitch. You picked the wrong town. Triangle to grapple? Okay. Welcome to Valentine's, bastard. Maybe if I throw a. Damn, fight, fighting kind of hard. Hold up. Oh, get knocked out. Bitch. Who need help? Come on, you son of a bitch. Uh. Who is that? Tommy. Tommy, what's up? See me head up. Let's do this. Oh, Tommy ate that punch like it was breakfast. Get off of me, dude. Damn, you really got to... This dude will not get up off of me. Yeah, knock him and knock him the f out. Okay. Hey, tough guy. All right, but ooh. Okay, okay, let's do this. What's up with you? Yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do. All right. Come on, pretty boy. We finna fight on the. Okay. Did did. Pretty boy. Oh, Arthur don't like being called a pretty boy. Come on. What's up, Tommy boy? Make it a real fool of yourself. I I I I I'm having a tough time against Big Tommy. Oh, oh. Arthur, Arthur, look at your fresh ass clothes that this nigga just destroyed. No respect. Finish the job. Finish the job. Yes. 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 Stop! Stop! Please! Please! 
I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. What's up, Dutch? Josiah Trelaw. Hello. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater that looking was for you, gentlemen. That was lit. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters. Oh, let's go free him, Trying then. to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's... Sean! We gotta get Sean back. In Blackwater. But there's talk of them moving. Well, if we stay foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah. Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Crazy how Bill ends up really betraying the, the gang, though, like... I don't know if he betrayed a gang or if... No, he, he dined me out. He dined me out John Marston. That's right. American at rest. That's a finished mission. Where do, I go, where do I go get cleaned up at? Multiple missions are available in camp. These are shown as... And then there's like a little three, I think, next to my bed. Is this the same bar? I'm finna loot. Oh, pick up your hat, though. Ugh, that is so hard. Can't forget my hat. Salon just cleaned out, huh? They never they really not gonna let me loot nobody body. This nigga was knocked out cold, like ice cold, like like I don't know. Like I, I did my thing in here, you know. Oh god. What's the problem? What's the problem? Who next time? Who's this coward? Hey, what'd I do to you? Whatever. I'm only joking with you. Well, glad to hear it. Doink! For Christ's sake. Your horses are out of whistling range. Continue to bond with your horse to increase the range at which it can be called. What you want, Kirion? Please, come on. You brought me in. Help me. Speak! Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horse shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the <laughs> next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he Gailed going? Him. Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of Unix? Oh, you kidding me, right? He's gonna make him a eunuch? Oh, what do you want from me? 
Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. The throwing knife. Don't this dude look like B-Rad G from Malibu, Malibu's Most Wanted, huh? A small knife with a straight blade designed and balanced so it can be thrown with ease. It can be used to silently take down enemies at range or used as a melee weapon if required. It can be purchased from some less than reputable sellers or save a trip by recollecting the knife after throwing it. All right, nice. Time, uh, well, I'll show you. What's up, no, John? I need to take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. What's up, no, John? Sir, is our respect. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. There we go. Shotgun, rifle, bow and arrow. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You know what? You gonna get them now. I'm, fin I'm finna be... I'm... Oh, there we go. Throwables. My, my, there we go. There we go. And then, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put my bandana up. That's... I said easy. Wow! Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. That's what I'm talking about. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Can you imagine losing your ball sack, though? You know how important that's been to me in life? Cabin's in the clear down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yup. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. Wow. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Okay. He said, "Shake it off." What you talking? What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Um. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. <clears throat> We're here. We don't need nothing else from you. Now hold up. If I can if I can somehow throw the knife. kind of hard learning the controls y'all I'll be I'll be honest with you why am I looking at Bill why are you looking at Bill taking no prisoners on the camp I left our guide up there 
He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Can I loot? Yeah, loot these. Loot these O'Driscoll scum. You got it. Take him quiet, Marston. Okay. Get your hands dirty for a change. Let's see John in action. Third person, third person perspective. Oh, John and Beast with it. John filthy with it. Okay. Now what? We're at the perimeter. Second, let me scan. Whoever that was. You all right? Oh, good looks. Oh, thank good you. Good looks, Killian. <sighs> Kylan, whatever your name is. Come on, Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I swear! I mean... If I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Oh, shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? <clears throat> so I'm one of you now. <sighs> Damn. Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> right you are. <laughs> 
Yo, this game lit, boy. I still gotta learn controls though. I'm gonna just keep saying that. Cause I'm already knowing y'all finna be on me like Religi, you this what y'all this what y'all sound like right now. I'm gonna put the bow on my on my horse real quick. At least you got something. Six hundred dollars. Let's get it. You know how many clothes I can buy with that? I'm just playing. Gang share is three hundred. Your share is. Wow. So they automatically. Okay. Fair enough. They cut it off the top. I, you gotta respect that. You gotta respect that. Business is business. Where's that money clip at that I'm looking at? There it go. Oh, it's on the desk. That let eleven dollars is mine. Oh, there's plenty of money clips right here. They was in here gambling. They was in here doing their thing. Crime reported. What the hell? What? What's going on? They on me? Is the boys on me or no? Put this car. Put this carcass down. <laughs> okay, that's one way to do it. You know, yeah, out here in the west, you do it however you need. Unknown suspect wanted investigating. As in, he's here with us. What's going on? Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Yep. Oh, we gotta go. Okay. <gasps> that was terrifying. That was terrifying. 